With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is: Find out the statement which is not correct for the following reaction. The reaction is: CrO5 plus H2SO4 gives Cr2SO4 thrice plus H2O plus O2. Okay. So if we look into this reaction, let us write down this reaction: 4CrO5 plus 6 H2SO4 leads to the formation of 2 Cr2SO4 thrice, right, plus H2O plus 7O2, right, this is what our reaction is, okay, so we have 7O2 here, okay, and 6 water, so this is what our reaction is. So the first thing is to write down the oxidation numbers for the atoms here, for the so, for here in CrO5, what will be the oxidation number for chromium? X plus 5 into minus 2 is equal to 0. Right? This is what we are going to get. So, we will be getting 10 from here. But 10 cannot be the answer. Right? 10 cannot be the oxidation state of chromium because it has a maximum oxidation state of plus 6. So, actually, chromium has an oxidation state of plus 6 because if we talk about its structure, it has one double bonded O and four single bonded O attached to it. So this oxygen uh, which is attached to it has a minus one valency, right? This has minus one, minus one, minus one and this double bonded O has a minus two charge on it due to which this chromium has a plus six charge, okay? Now uh, in H2SO4, hydrogen has plus one, then SO4, ha uh, SO4 combined has SO4 two negative, right? So this will be X plus 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So, this comes out to be 6. So, here sulfur is in plus 6. Whereas, if we talk about Cr2SO4 thrice, then in Cr2SO4 thrice, what will be the oxidation number of chromium? 2x plus, uh, what I am uh, doing is, actually you don't need to do this only. You don't need to do this only because if you just understand it, just by looking at it, you will see that SO4 has a 2 negative charge and Cr has a plus 3 charge. So, by interchanging the valencies, we have got this formula. Right. Now, in water, simple, H is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2 and o, in O2, it is 0. So, what do we see here? What do we see here that Cr from plus 6 is changing into Cr to plus 3? It means that reduction is taking place. Now, if you look into this reaction very carefully, then the oxygen in... Um, the oxygen in chromium has a minus 1 oxidation state, right? 4 of the oxygens, if we talk about 4 of the oxygens in uh, CrO5 are in the minus 1 oxidation state, they are changing to O2, which is the 0 oxidation state. So, actually what is happening here? So, this is what oxidation, right? So, actually what is happening here that a single species is undergoing like a single compound is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction. But this is not going to be a disproportionation reaction. Because in this compound CrO5, Cr is undergoing reduction and this oxygen is undergoing oxidation. So this can be regarded as an intramolecular redox. Intramolecular redox means within the molecule a redox reaction is taking place. Because in the same molecule CrO5, Cr is undergoing a reduction. And oxygen is undergoing oxidation. Now, the question said that you have to tell the statement which is not correct. So, therefore, the statement which is not correct is going to be option 2 which is a disproportionation reaction. Because this reaction which is taking place is an intramolecular redox reaction. And in this, CrO5 is, re is reducing also. And it is oxidizing also, right? Reduction of Cr plus 6 to Cr plus 3 is taking place. And oxidation of O negative from the CrO5 is taking place to O2. It means that the same, the same molecule, the same compound is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction. Therefore, it can act as an oxidizing agent as well as a reducing agent, right? So, the first statement is correct. The third statement is correct. But the statement which is, but the statement which is incorrect is the statement given in, uh, the statement which is incorrect is the statement given in option 2 that it is a disproportionation because it is not a disproportionation reaction. It is an intramolecular redox reaction and that is the difference between the two that we just discussed. Right. So, option 2 is going to be the correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. 
ट्रस्टेड बाय मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आप टूडे